Welcome to another bite-sized episode of Cream Rises Up. Since Apollo 70 landed on the moon in 1972, no human expedition was attempted by any government as well as private organization. People always wondered when will we see humans walking on the moon in modern times and watch it live on our smartphones. It seems we will not going to wait longer if the Artemis program, which is NASA's lunar exploration initiative, becomes successful in landing man on the moon again. In order to accomplish this, NASA has selected Jeff Bezos' company Blue Origin to construct a spacecraft that will send astronauts to and from the surface of the moon. Blue Origin won a contract valued at about 3.4 billion US dollars. Dubbed as the Artemis V, it the third in a series of missions under NASA's lunar program that is expected to land humans on the moon. The contract requires Blue Origin to offer a demonstration of an unmanned mission to the moon followed by a manned voyage that would take astronauts to the lunar surface scheduled for 2029. Elon Musk's SpaceX got its own slice of the pie when it won the contract worth 3 billion US dollars in 2021 to build a Starship spacecraft to land astronauts on the lunar surface for the first time since the final Apollo mission in 1972. This represents a huge milestone for Blue Origin who have lost the previous contract to SpaceX in 2021. In fact, Blue Origin's lawyers went to court to overturn the award but came out empty-handed. This time, however, Blue Origin has won the battle by wrestling other companies and struck the deal with NASA. NASA said in a contract document that it picked Blue Origin's proposal for its lower price, extra lander capabilities and a plan to execute two test landing mission on the moon in 2024 and 2025 at the company's expense. NASA realized that it is hugely important to have a backup plan in the event that SpaceX fails its lunar landing mission which is scheduled for 2025. We can safely assume that the Blue Origin deal is a backup plan in case things will not go according to plan. Stating the importance of having a backup option for the moon landing mission, NASA Administrator Bill Nielsen said, quote, I have said it before, we want more competition, we want two landers and it's better. It means that you have reliability and you have backups. The tit for tat battle between private companies who fight for lucrative space based deals will definitely continue in the coming years and decades. This will in turn help NASA because it will encourage competition and promote research and development which will be essential to spearhead the space expedition programs. Blue Origin will partner up with Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Draper, Astrobotic and Honeybee Robotics to build a moon lander which will be 60 meters tall. Jeff Bezos tweeted by saying he is honored to be on this journey with NASA to land astronauts on the moon.